How's it going guys? It's your boy Flynn here from Backyard Blasters. In today's video, we have a very, very exciting product here to review today. So we take a quick look at the case there. Now you might be thinking that this is an airsoft gun, but no, it's not. And that's what's so cool about this bad boy. Let's just open it up first. So, what we have here, oh, we've got a little business card there, very nice. This is what we call a Hydro Blaster. It is a toy gun that is designed to shoot little small balls of water. They have gel balls, crystal balls, orbies, they have a few different types of names. Basically, it's an environmentally friendly squishy ball that um, is just made from water, really. So in the case here, this is the ammo here. We'll take that out in a second. Scope, the battery pack, a suppressor or silencer, the toy gun itself, which is modeled off a Desert Eagle, a pair of safety glasses, and then the bottle, which is what you use to prepare your ammo in. Now what a lot of people don't know is in Australia, airsoft is actually illegal. We don't have the sport. You can't buy the airsoft guns from anywhere. Uh, it's just not, not here, so we don't have it, which is a shame. I've always wanted to play airsoft. I think we're one of the only countries that doesn't have it. Um, it it's disappointing, but this is the next best thing. An airsoft gun shoots 6mm plastic pellets. This fires 8mm gel balls that are made from water, environmentally friendly, and it cannot cause anywhere near the same damage that an airsoft gun could possibly cause. So, here is the gun. It's got thunder written on that side, terminator on the other. It's quite a nice weight. Up the top here, this is where the gel balls feed through. Underneath, this is where the battery actually goes in. Goes in there and it clips into there. And this is a fully automatic pistol. That's really cool. Fully automatic. So uh, it's pretty sick. Oh, you've got an orange tip here on the end, rear iron sight and a front one. Underneath, now this is the power switch to turn the toy gun on, so it's currently off. Orange trigger, orange knob there, so you know, bits of orange over the toy gun. The suppressor here, it's got an orange attachment, and that just simply friction fits onto that like so. So it looks pretty sick. So yes. The safety glasses here. They just come in a little packet. There they are. Safety first, guys. So there are some visors included. Uh, we'll take a look at the scope here. So this scope is actually clear, see-through. Now it's not actually designed to be used as a scope. This is what you would refer to as a hopper. Uh, if anyone's familiar with paintball guns, they have a thing that sits on top called the hopper and that's where the paintballs sit and it feeds down into the gun. Now this is the exact same thing except for the small gel balls. So you would call this the hopper. So really this is a cross between airsoft and paintball which is amazing um, because uh, it now probably has its own little class of division. You know, it's not airsoft, it's not, it's not paintball, it's a mix between the two. All right, so there's with the suppressor. Let's move this out of the way. Oh, would you look at that? There you go, guys. All right, so here is the packet of gel balls. So like I said, these are referred to as crystal balls, orbies, got, got quite a few different names. So these you empty into this container, hold to capacity up to 300. Each packet has 500 in them, so you're not gonna empty the whole thing in there. I'll just do that now and prepare it. Okay, here we go. So these sit for about two to four hours, and there you go. So here's a look at them. Let's take, whoa. So they are small. As I said, they're eight millimeter. They're squishy, biodegradable, environmentally friendly. Um, so very, very unique, because you can shoot these you know, days on end, and you're not gonna cause any harm to anything or anyone. 
And you can get these in different colors, you know, red, blue, green, purple, uh, all the colors of the rainbow. People actually do use these in their houses sometimes uh, as decorations. Just they empty a pole in a glass bowl and just, you know, sit it around for decoration. Oh, now I haven't shown you the instruction manual, or the instructions. Oh, left side to right. Oh, right to left. Okay, so there it is here. Um, the water gun uses a 6 volt battery pack, so let's get on to that now. Now, let's take a look. So, what you have in the pack is you have a USB lead here, which on the end, this obviously clicks into the battery, and that charges just through any USB port, um, so you could plug it into the wall through a USB converter, or you can put it into your computer and charge it. A little red light lights up to indicate that it's charging. There's the battery pack there. There's some details there, six volts. Um, I'll now show you how to install this into the toy gun. So just under here, I'm gonna rotate that switch and poof, this door pops open and that's where you're gonna, oh, that's where you're gonna attach it. So that clips on here. There we go, just close that up, lock it and you're ready to go. All right, so loading in the gel balls. I'm gonna take this cap off. There you go. And then this is actually designed so that it fits just over the lid and then you can just drop it and the gel balls will roll in. Now the scope I believe holds around a hundred shots, just over a hundred shots. And there it is loaded. Okay, so we'll just do a firing test of this inside. I will be doing a video with a range test outside. Um, separately, I'll post that sometime soon. So as you can see, you can't look through the um, scope. Like I said, it is designed like a hopper, so it just simply holds the ammo and um, you know pushes it down each shot. Let's flick it on, you just flick the switch, and you're ready to fire. Now when the ammo gets low, you will have to occasionally tilt it back so that the gel balls move to the back of the hopper so they can feed into the chamber properly. So for single shots, you just need to tap it lightly and then obviously hold it for full auto. Now we'll shoot it with the suppressor. All right, so we've got the suppressor on. Now just to give you guys a quick look at what happens when these kind of shatter and explode, they just look like that. So it's all squishy, biodegradable, non-toxic, um, and yeah, that's, that's what happens. Alrighty guys, well I hope you enjoyed this review of the Desert Eagle Hydro Blaster. I'll post a link to this item in the description. Don't forget to check out our Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.